When Minnesota Fighting Vikings rookie Phenom King Kenne and Wangu busted out and returned a 99-yard kick against the Niners for six, you were thinking, okay, well, obviously he's a shoe-in for NFC Special Teams Player of the Week, which would be his second award in his rookie year. First was against the Ravens when he also busted out another kick uh, for a touchdown and also had a fake punt return for a first down. But, of course, it being the Vikings, so nope, nope. Uh uh-uh. uh. The award went to new Falcons punter Thomas Morstead, former Saints punter, pictured here. Looking really good in that spot. Uh. And this is why they gave it to him. Here's a write up. In his Falcons debut, Morstead pinned three of his five punts inside the 20 yard line in a 21 14 victory at Jacksonville. He ended the game with an average of 44.8 yards per punt, 35 net, and a long of 55 yards. That's it? That's it? I, I mean, uh, Jordan Berry has that game every single week. How come he's never won the award? I don't get it. We're. I fully understand. Morstead is an awesome dude, and the league is recognizing that. It's cool, but I mean, three punts inside the 20? Oh, my God, strike up the band. Plus, you're playing the Jaguars. You can give them the ball at your 20, and they probably wouldn't score. So, big deal. Right, now, if you said three punts inside the five, we're talking like Madden coffin corner style, then yes, I would get it. But for shame, man. For sure. The way that the NFL has neutered the kickoff rules, anytime someone returns one for a touchdown, they should automatically win the award. They they should. Plus, I, I'm just waiting. I, I I love me some Cordero Patterson, but Ken Anwangu has been the better kick returner this year, even though Cordero should be in the Hall of Fame as a kick returner. And I'm concerned that they're going to give Cordero a legacy award, a lifetime achievement award, first team all pro versus Ken Anwangu, who has earned it. Has absolutely earned it so far. So it's just frustrating, man. It's frustrating because not only besides the 99 yard kick return against the Niners, he had to return for 30, he had to return for 21. So he was doing work, man. He was helping keep the Vikings in the game, but just a debaucherous, uncalled for amount of disrespect seeping the Vikings' way as well as at, at Canna. It's just, it's unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate. But we'll just add that to the list of disrespect and we'll move on with life. Like, what's he have to do? Does he have to return two? Against the Lions this week, King Kenne, if they're stupid enough to kick it to him, we'll take two to the house. Woo! Love to see it, man. Like, what, Does he have to have six kick returns uh, for a touchdown his rookie year just to get first team all pro? Maybe even just get second team all pro. I see how it is. I see how it is here. But uh, your thoughts aren't thoughts. King Kenne and Wangu robbed of week 12 NFC offensive uh, special teams player of the week. Should, it's going to be offensive player of the week with Dalvin out. <sighs> Ooh, call my shot. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Viking stakes. Must support that work. Venmo. Pay that man his money. But until next time, Skull Production Value.